Russia's special military operation in Ukraine has entered its 31st day, March 26, 2022, with new and very complicated developments. After a month of conducting a special military operation, the Russian Defense Ministry held a press conference to announce the results of the operation, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor Konashenkov reiterated, on February 24, 2022, the Russian Armed Forces launched a special military operation in Ukraine. He stressed that the special military operation was strictly carried out according to the approved plan. The unconditional priority of the Russian armed forces during the course of a special military operation is the elimination of unnecessary civilian casualties. Therefore, Russia uses many high-precision weapons to selectively attack and destroy the military infrastructure, equipment and weapons of the Ukrainian army. At the press conference, the Russian Defense Ministry also released secret cables from the commander of the National Guard of Ukraine. Lieutenant General Mykola Balin, about the preparations for the National Guard units of this country to attack the Donbass region. The Russian side claims to have seized this document during the special military operation. Regarding the results of the first phase of the special military operation, Lt. Gen. Sergei Rodskoy, Director of the Operations Department of the General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces, said, currently, the Air Force and Air Defense System of Ukraine has been almost completely destroyed. The Navy of the Kiev government also ceased to exist. The Russian Air Force also disabled 16 main military airports that the Ukrainian Air Force normally uses. As for the Army, 24 key units of Ukraine's ground forces were hit with heavy losses. Ukraine currently has no significant military reserves. Regarding military reserves, 39 total warehouses and weapons stockpiles were destroyed, 70% of Ukraine's total military equipment, supplies and fuel reserves, and more than 1,054,000 tons of ammunition were destroyed. Notably, the Russian side also announced for the first time the loss of life of the Ukrainian armed forces since the beginning of the special military operation. According to Russian calculations, before February 24, the number of Ukrainian armed forces, including Army and National Guard, was 260,200 servicemen. In the past one month of war, Ukrainian casualties amounted to 30,000 people, of which 14,000 were irreversible, implying death. Russia also destroyed out of 2,416 Ukrainian tanks and armored fighting vehicles, 1,587 were destroyed by Russia, 65.7%. Similarly, for field artillery and mortars, 636 1,509 guns were destroyed, accounting for 42.1%, and for multiple rocket launchers, 163 535 vehicles were destroyed, accounting for 25.3%. Regarding the Air Force, 112 152 aircraft, 73.7%, and 75 149 helicopters, 50%, were destroyed. The number of Bayraktar TB2 UAVs that Turkey transferred to Ukraine was considered extinct, 35 36 were destroyed, 97%. Regarding air defense, 148 180 medium and long range air defense systems of S 300 and Buk M1 types were destroyed, accounting for 82%. 117 300 radar stations of all kinds, 39%, were destroyed.